What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and tonight it's going to be time for another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Terror Raid Den Spotlight. I didn't cover the announcement for this one because it happened earlier this week and I was in the middle of a whole room renovation and now my room is well, it's, it's kind of done enough for now, so we're, we're moving on, we're moving past it. All right, let's take a look at Intellion. As always, in order to get the new promoter raids, we're gonna go to Mystery Gift, we're gonna check the Poke Portal news, communicating, don't turn off the power, and now we are good to go, perfect. Okay, thanks to Matt, one of the data miners here, we have the information on him. It doesn't seem like there's any uh, special things like, you know, smallest or set IVs, anything out of the ordinary, other than, you know, what we've experienced already with seven star raids, that it's going to be level 100 ice type. Its hitting ability is sniper, which means that its crits do 225% damage instead of 150% damage. Six perfect IVs, never can be shiny. Regular size 128 is the value. HP multiplier is 30. You can only catch it once. Let's look at it moves. It has Blizzard, it has its signature move Snipe Shot, ignores the effects of opponent Pokemon's moves and abilities that draw in moves, allowing this move to hit the chosen target. I don't think that's going to be too important here. Dark Pulse and Tearful Look. What's Tearful Look? The user gets teary-eyed to make the user lose its combative spirit. This lowers the target's attack and special attack stats. Okay, extra moves are Mist to reset stat changes. Snowscape to set up the snow, Blizzard, which is going to be 100% accuracy in the snow, Mist again and Snowscape again. So that sounds like that's what's going to happen at Shield Up and that's going to be Shield Down. Taking a look at the moves that it has, it's going to be super effective against Flying Ground, Rock, Ghost, Fire, Grass, Psychic, Dragon, and neutral to a lot of things, which is nice. Defensive wise, it's weak to Fighting, Fire, Rock, and Steel. He is going to be neutral damage to Iron Hands, and Iron Hands is gonna be super effective if he's a fighting Terra. Okay, so is this just GG easy clap with 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 our boy here? Also, why don't I have Drain Punch on this? Oh, okay. Do I have the TM for Drain Punch? I need more Crow Gunk Poison. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my Electric one, who's obviously not as preferable for this. Now we already had Cinderace because it was the Chinese year of the rabbit. Now we're having Inteleon that only leaves Rillaboon from Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's becoming more and more questionable if this is going to line up, Pokemon Home update that is. So as I've been saying before, I'm not confirming that it is, we're just kind of hoping that it is. In which case we have Inteleon this week and next week and then we would have Rillaboom for the following two weeks. So that puts us like a month out hopefully, for Pokemon Home Update. They, they just said first half this year, so it's happening before June 30th. That's all I can say. Okay, turn zero, we have a Mist and a Snowscape. Okay, I'm starting to think Mist doesn't do what I think it does. Is that not reset stats? Did I make an oopsie doopsie? Uh, cannot have its stats lowered for five turns. Got it, okay. I'm not faster than him. That could be a problem. Can I get this hit off? Nope, he's gonna hit me with a Dark Pulse. Okay, that's not great. And then he's going to negate changes to our side. So that's important to know. So we shouldn't be doing that at the start. Oh, and then the shield goes up like immediately. Okay, so from the start, he cannot have his stats lowered and he's going to negate our stats after the first player gets knocked out or after a certain amount of time goes down. Oh, Star Raptor starting with an Intimidate, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to not go for that up front. Instead, let's just do some Drain Punches. Let's see how much his Stab Blizzard does. Yeah, a little less than half, as to be expected. How much HP do I recover? Probably not a lot because his defense is up because of the snow. Okay, that was a good amount, actually. I'm not mad at that. That's right, I don't have to run Shell Bell because I'm using Drain Punch. Okay, never mind. And now he's going to nullify stat changes to our side. Okay, this is what we were expecting. And here's the shield. I mean, let's risk the belly drum because he might do tearful look. He did do tearful look. That's good. So we're probably like minus two in attack. But now we're going to maximize our attack. And if he doesn't knock us out next turn, we're going to do some damage. Plus, I have my terastalization ready with the drain punch. 
This is gonna knock us out, isn't it? Shucks. Okay. Later that same evening. All right, so I have messed around with a few different builds here, and the one that I think is going to be best is going to be this King Gambit one. I tried a Crabominal build. I messed around with my Iron Hands build a little bit. I only had one uh, Drain Punch TM, so I've been like save spamming and like seeing if that's like the build I want to do. So right now I have a King Gambit. He is steel and dark, max attack, max special defense, and then the rest of it is in HP. I put some PP ups on Iron Head and I relearned Sword Dance, and that's pretty much it. That's that's all it is. So there we go, there's our King Gambit build. And essentially, because our, our hitting ability is defiant, every time that he's going to lower our attack or special attack, except on the turn that he nullifies stats and abilities, we're gonna get plus four. Turn one, we're just gonna go ahead for an Iron Head. He did a tearful look right off the bat, which is pretty fantastic. That means that we're gonna be doing this attack with plus four, because we get plus two for him lowering our attack and then we get plus two for him lowering our special attack. Maybe we're at plus three. Here's the blizzard, 100% accuracy in the snow. Hope we don't get frozen. Of course we got frozen. Two people got frozen. Three people got frozen. It didn't go that great, only because we got frozen at the beginning. In fact, three of us got frozen, which seemed like just really, really bad luck. And then I got frozen again later. So I think King Gambit is going to work. I'm just gonna cut out the last battle. There's our turn one Defiant, which is very nice. So that's gonna put us at plus three or plus four or something like that. I think it's at plus three. There's the Blizzard, please don't freeze me. Yeah, we're at plus three. So it does include the fact that we got minus one and then that we got plus four. There's the snipe shot, it's not gonna do too much damage. We're just gonna keep doing the iron head, his shield is gonna go up. Let's hopefully not get frozen, that's the plan. His shield goes up. He didn't nullify our stats this turn, which is interesting. Sometimes that's the same turn, sometimes it's not. Oh, that crit really hurt. Okay, there's the stat change, the, the ability being nullified and the stat changes. I'm going to not terastalize yet. In fact, I'm just gonna wait until I get KO'd. That way I come back with full health and it's gonna be, you know, a little bit safer. So now that we're back, we have our terastalization ready. We're gonna pop a sword dance. We're gonna pop a second sword dance. And now we're gonna go for the terastalize iron head. There's the snipe shot. As long as we don't get crit, we're good. This should recover us enough health. That was some nice damage. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to live the next attack, no problem. So last time I only did one sword dance at that opportunity, and because of that, we were just barely hanging on. We weren't really making headway, but now we're, yeah, we're doing just fine here. And now we're gonna break down the shield, and then he's gonna go for a miss, so we can't change his stats, but we haven't been doing that the whole time. He's gonna relaunch the snow. And we get to go again because that was the shield down move. So we get those two turns in a row. Super effective. Nice damage. We should be at full health. Yeah, we are. And that was some real nice damage. And then just one more hit and we're good. This King Gambit strategy, as long as you don't get frozen at the beginning, and then when you come back and you pop the two sword dance, it's pretty clean. Like, you don't really have too much to worry about. I mean, that freeze chance is always really rough. And my very last uh, apricot, apricorn ball, the dream ball, Italian's going in it. No, so Italian is going to be now until Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then he's going to be coming back next week. But here's the weird part is that on the first, which I think is the exact minute that Italian goes away, we're gonna be getting the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves coming back for the version 1.3 update because of all the people who caught it as a bad egg. You're gonna get some Ice Terror Shards, Ability Patch, XL Candy, Large Candy, more candy. We're getting Zinc, 15 of them, awesome. Some Star Pieces, and that's really all there is to speak of. Did I get a Nature Mint? No Nature Mint, okay. There is Inteleon, he's this week, he's gonna be next week again. If there is a better strategy by the time next week rolls around, then I'll be maybe making a video then. Until then, King Gambit FTW, King Toilet, 
King Toilet is gonna help you out. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one. And if you need to know how, check out Austin John. Champion flow, flow, yeah. I got that champion flow, flow.